a very warm welcome to another tutorial of easy video series we are covering latex in depth now in this this is our seventh video okay so in this we will see how to make bold italic and underline the three basic formatting concepts in latex so as the old videos ever goes we begin the document class article begin document and end document okay so section name i am just giving a random section name so in latex in order to specify a bold command you have to specify the command backslash text bf and within curly braces you have to write the text that you wish to come bold okay i am just following this by two backslashes that makes a new line and similarly for italic so basically we have backslash that specifies the command text it so italics it and the first two characters and then the italic text let us just compile this and you can see the effect this is the bold text the bold text was within the braces of text bf and followed by two backslashes so a new line appears here so it comes the cursor comes on the next line and then we have text it is italic text that is this gets the italic text okay so if you are using text studio or probably any other editor just like what if you press control b so the automatically the string expands to slash text bf and you can write a text there bold okay let us make a new line similarly for italic if you press control i in text studio it makes it text i so this is italics okay just compile it again so you see this is bold and italic for underline there is a special thing in this latex so in this case just below the document class and before begin document any space in between you have to use a special package basically as i told latex is complete programming based so latex by default does not provide support for underlines however there are since latex is open source there are many many packages available that are add ons to latex so that help latex to provide additional functionality so one such package is soul s o u l okay s o u l so you use backslash you write the command use package and within curly brackets you write s o u l so this is the soul is a package that provides the package for underlining in latex so we come to the begin document end document and for underlining you have to specify the command u l what is underline i just write underline okay so you see underline comes and with a underline in between okay so what is the effect of this package so let us remove this line okay i delete this line and let me compile it here so you see i am getting an error here okay undefined controls equals ul So LaTeX did not did not understood what is UL because LaTeX had a very small subset of supported commands like text BF and text it. For this, there was no use package kind of thing. Okay, so you can see this red icon so that shows the error on this line. So let me paste back the use package soul and let us recompile it. So now there are no errors. You can see process exited normally. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Oh, sorry. Uh, just a small tip. Let me tell you that we can cascade bold and italics. So let's say I want this text to be bold. So I have made it text bold. And within this, I am writing something. Let's say hi there. And if I want to make this italic, so what I do? Slash e e x t i t. I open a curly bracket here. and within the curly bracket i enclose the text b so what happens this will be a bold text and within this is an underline or oh, sorry it is italic so it will be bold italic let me compile it so you see this is i there is bold as well as italic so if you want to underline this i use ul i open a curly bracket and then i close the curly bracket so within underline we have italics and then within that we have bold so this comes here 
So this cascading can be of any sort, like if you an underline first, then make it text italic and then make it text bold, the effect would remain the same. That's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.